draw out loud? Wait. I was doing it in my head. I mean, Sorry, guys. I mean, we can just go. It's Extreme Rules Predictions time. Yeah, already. Uh, we decided due to the lack of confirmed matches, there's only six being billed right now. Yeah. Uh, but one, it's an even number, so that puts us in a way higher risk of tying. Yeah. Uh, that There's just not that many, so if there is like a concisive winner... It, there's a, there's a lot of gray area for this pay-per-view, so we've decided to and forego the wager. We're just not even thing. sure how good it's going to be. Yeah. Let's be real. It's, uh, it's raw. It, it's it, raw. It, it has a chance to fail. And it's got a, there's some weird stuff going on. But we're it's not going to mean we're not going to predict, though. We're no. going to predict. We're going to no. predict the shit out of it. Yeah, we're, de we're definitely going to do that. Uh, and we're going to start by predicting a match that's not even on the card. But there's a good chance that it could be added in as a pre-show match. In case it does get added. Because there's only six matches, so I would assume that there's going to be at least a seven. Uh, because it's raw. Goldust versus our truth. Yes. Because they hate each other now. Yeah. They also like movies. Yeah. A lot. We knew Goldust liked movies. Yeah. Our truth is very fond of movies. We found that out on Monday. Shaft. And uh, Pulp Fiction. So. Without making any further ado, I'm going to say Gold Dust. I'm going to say Gold Dust as well because it makes more sense to have our truth chase Gold Dust. Yeah. Absolutely. Not like a sexual way. It's just like, hey, you beat me. Gold Dust will find some cheap way to beat him. You beat me, so I have to chase you, so I can beat you. Non sexually, of course. <laughs> there might be some double sticking involved. Uh. Extreme rules, you never know. <laughs> uh, okay. There is going to be... Only one of these matches is not for a championship something or other. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to start with that one. It's the right. mixed tag team match. Yes. Of Sasha Banks and Rich Swan, uh, which I have now dubbed Swancha Banks. I like uh, that. Versus Noam Dar... And Alicia Fox. 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 <sighs> Who thinks they'll win? Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Um, I. Oh. I'm going for Swancha. Yeah, Swancha yeah. Banks. I'm going. I'm going for Swancha. Uh, j mostly because I don't like the like both of these feuds need to end. Yeah. Because Alicia versus Sasha was just so kind of random, and it's already gone for three weeks. And Dar versus Swan should have ended a long time ago, and it's still going. So I'm hoping that the faces win just to finish. Yeah, I'm going to go with Swan and Sasha as well, just because Sasha's bringing that main roster star power to their team. Yeah. That, like, I mean, like, Alicia Fox, yeah, she's, like, a main roster person, too, obviously, because there's no 205 live women. But not as high profile uh, as Sasha. Yeah, she's just not as up there as Sasha as far as, like, the popularity factor is concerned. Right. And so straight off of that alone, Sasha is probably going to be the one to get the win up for the match. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, okay. Uh, let's move on from Swan and Dar to their fellow cruiserweights. Hey. Ares and Neville fighting over the cruiserweight title in a submission match. And I think we're both in agreement here that it's the third match. And it's been going for a while. And we've assumed that both times Neville was going to lose. Yeah, so obviously this time I'm picking Neville. Are you actually are you actually thinking now? Well, I mean, let's look at the writing on the wall here. Austin Aries got the shit kicked out of him yeah. at the end of Two Hundred Five Live, mm -hmm. and both times we thought that Austin Aries was gonna beat Neville, mm -hmm. and both times we thought that we were wrong. Yeah. Third time's a charm. I'm going for Austin Aries. I'm going, by, I'm going for Neville by virtue that I want Austin Aries to win the match. 
Oh, you're, are you trying to play reverse psychology on the writers? Yep. You're like, oh, I really want Neville to win, but secretly you want Austin Aries to win? Shh. I mean... You're giving up my secret. I mean, I can't believe you're going for Neville. Yeah, he's the king of the cruiser wets. <laughs> All right. What? No, I didn't emphasize the H enough. Cruiser wets. The H that's not there. Wets. The cruiser. Whip. The cruiser wets. I just spit everywhere. Yeah, you did. Let's move on. Yeah. From the How cruiser about? Wits. Uh, just because this match. I mean, it's gonna be a good match. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But I did, it's not really going to follow the guidelines of a pay-per-view called Extreme Rules. Especially when one of the guys is the most extreme on the roster. Essentially. Dean Ambrose defends the Intercontinental Championship against The Miz in a no-disqualification match where we put too many quotation marks on no-disqualification. Something's got to be extreme about this match. Yes, apparently. So we're going with extreme quotation marks. Uh, yeah, if Dean Ambrose gets disqualified, he loses the title. What? Wait, uh, Orton versus Triple H at WrestleMania this thing. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. Because <laughs> that was a WrestleMania main event I wish I could get back. Yeah. This is the one I'm having the most trouble with. Ambrose... I, I'm gonna... Ambrose, by virtue of the Miz, gets disqualified. I'm gonna go with Ambrose also, mostly because... Don't get me wrong, I do enjoy what the Miz does. The Miz is a very good heel. Yep. But, like... There's only so many times that I can see him or hear him say... I'm going to save the Intercontinental Championship. Because that's literally his shtick every time he goes for the title. And I'm really yeah. sick of it. So I want this to just fail and Dean Ambrose to move on to something else. Yeah. So go Dean Ambrose. Alrighty then. Moving along swimmingly. To the Raw Women's Championship. Bailey versus Alexa Bliss. Yes. Kendo stick on a pole match. Alright. There's a stick hanging atop a much bigger stick. So essentially. There are so many phallic this, symbols in this women's in this, match. In this women's championship match, there will definitely be some double sticking. And potentially pole dancing. You'd be okay with either or both. Predict the match. Stop daydreaming, please. Oh, God. I just... Ugh. I just got Corey Graves pole dancing. That's bad. That was really bad. Uh, Why your mind went to Corey Graves, but... It was just cycling through all the people involved in the match. Uh, uh, like some place. She's too conniving, and it's gonna be yes, yes. It's gonna be by virtue of the recently uh, seemingly non-existent Nia Jax. The fact that here's the thing is that Alexa hasn't put her title on the line for a while now, and so for that fact, Nia Jax hasn't been on television. And most people at this point, because Alexa Bliss has been doing things by herself, just forgets that Nia is a part of it. Yeah. So, therefore, with it being a no disqualification match, essentially, I think, yeah, uh, that Nia Jax can get involved and either distract Bailey or take the kendo stick from her, toss it to Alexa, and Alexa will beat the crap out of Bailey. I'm gonna predict somebody's taking a headshot with the kendo stick. Ooh. Like, this is the thing. Like, I know, like, there's the no headshots rule in WWE, which I don't know if it extends further than just the steel chairs. I think it's just steel chairs, because I'm pretty sure I've seen people get at least whacked in the face with kendo sticks since that's become a rule. Uh, but even if it is, I think one of these girls, 
or both of them are going to be willing to forego the fine in order to... Because at this point, like, yay, they're at the Extreme Rules and they're doing a stipulation match at Extreme Rules, but you look at it on paper and you're like, this is a lame stipulation. It is. It is... It uh, is it is one step up from the no DQ match. Yeah, kids, especially considering that we just got the big announcement on SmackDown that the SmackDown women are doing a Money in the Bank ladder match. Yes. Five women in a ladder match. Raw, the best you could do is put a stick on another stick and have them hit each other with it. And here's, like, my thing is we didn't even get any hype for the weapon itself nor did we get any of that, oh, what's Bailey capable of? At this yeah. point, we can just assume that Bailey can't do anything with a kendo stick because it always goes against, she can hit Alexa Bliss once. Yeah, it's literally like that's all the buildup we've had is one week Alexa Bliss hit Bailey on the back one time, the next week Bailey hit Alexa Bliss on the back one time, and then this last go home show, Alexa Bliss hit Bailey on the back one time. Yeah. That doesn't make us excited for... Like, if this was just going to be, like, a hardcore match, that's one thing. But you're putting emphasis on a thing, and we've only seen that thing be used three times. Oh, yeah. Singly. So, yeah, Alexa. Yeah. yeah. Tag Team Championship Cage match. I'm uh, excited about this one. The Hardys... Defend the Raw Tag Championships against the Mercs, aka the Mercenaries, aka Cesaro and Sheamus, aka the European. So Sheamus. Uh, badass dudes. Sheamus? What is it? Bald and Shane Beautiful. Shane Zara. Shane Zara. Zara. <laughs> the Bald and the Beautiful. Uh, the Bald and the Brutiful. Sheamus and Cesaro. Pale and hairy. Uh, yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the Hardys. But if I'm going out in all honesty here, I want Sheamus and just Cesaro to win this match. Really? Just on the fact that, like, Cesaro, I mean, that's like 95% of the reason why. Uh, the other reason is they're just like a younger, more current tag team. That's fair. Uh, that, on the other hand, I'm just waiting to see how long WWE is going to ride this Hardy's train. Because, on one hand, cool, it's a nice little nostalgia snapback. And, yay, the Hardys, they get another title run, and stuff like that, and then, whatever's gonna happen, is gonna happen, but, like, there's that other thing that WWE does sometimes, where they just don't stop with something. Especially when it's good. Like, like the first couple times. And it's like, ooh, how long can we milk this for? Yeah, they're, they're just gonna be like, how long... How long can we just push the Hardys before people actually don't want to see the Hardys anymore? Therefore, by WWE logic, I'm saying the Hardy Boys retain. Yeah, I'm going with the Hardys as well. I think... <sighs> Have we agreed on literally all, all but one? All but one. Yeah. Like it's a good thing we didn't put a stipulation on this. Especially a points-based one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to tell how, like, what all they want to do with the Hardys. I know they're still working on getting, you know, rights to the broken thing. And that that's still a potential thing that they can do with the Hardys. Whether or not Sheamus and Cesaro are going to be the cause of that. It's... there. I mean... Jeff Hardy heel turn. No, I don't. I don't want to see the Hardys by them by themselves again. Just doesn't happen. No. Uh, okay. Without any further ado, let's talk about five guys who are just gonna go at each other in an extreme way. Uh, what? <laughs> I 
mean, it's literally five dudes who are just going to be hammering each other. Just pounding away. Yeah, just blasting each other with all sorts of stuff. Just doing things like this. Long things, hard things. All the things are going to be involved. Get a little backwoodsy with it. Yeah, it's going to be really sweaty and there's going to be a lot of wet hair flying around. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about Ace Extreme Rules, which means anything goes. Uh, and it's Seth Rollins, Samoa Joe, Roman Reigns, Bray Wyatt, and Finn Balor. I'm totally looking forward to this match. Th this legitimately is the selling point of the pay-per-view, is yeah. this one match. It's it's very rare when the main event is the thing that we're like, most and, and, excited and, and it's, for. And it's sad, though, that like, okay, the main event should be a selling point for the pay-per-view, but it shouldn't be the only selling point for the pay-per-view. Let's be honest. Uh, I don't know, I'm I'm still I'm still excited for Austin Aries versus Neville because they've had solid matches every single yeah. time. But the added tag team matches that are just completely unnecessary have definitely died down the excitement of seeing the two of them in the ring together. Yeah. Uh, so here's where we have the biggest chance of differentiating because there's five people to pick from. And it is like at this point with the fact that Braun Strowman was their go-to guy for the upcoming July pay per view. And now they have to change it, and they literally have five of the top contenders in the company, period, yeah. in this match. It is kind of difficult to tell. I think for me, right off the bat, the only person I don't see winning this match is Samoa Joe. He is, like, for me, he is the only one who, don't get me wrong, he is absolutely a contender, but I think out of the five, he could has, be a contender. He has the least amount of chance to win this match. Okay. So I am immediately eliminating Samoa Joe. So if you eliminate Samoa Joe, then who do you uneliminate and make the winner? <sighs> you have somebody written down, don't you? Nope. Oh, you're picking this as you go? Yeah, I'm, I'm picking, I'm, I didn't pre-think these out like I usually do. I talk, I talked to you about it when we were watching Raw. Like, how I think this is going to go. Yep. Because I legitimately think... If you say it, I'm going to add a stipulation. Why? If you, if you say it... Why? Because he fucks me over every time? Yep. <laughs> it's going to be chops again. No. We did that. Extreme chops. Thumbtack covered pork chops. Immediately, what I what I thought was just like chops with someone who's like ready for a Taipei death match. Ooh. That's what I just. We're not. We're not we're, no, I'm thinking the Ian Rotten, Michael Jackson club of thumbtacks. Nope. Chop. Nope. Not happening. A pork slap. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Who's you get slapped with a pork chop? No. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, what was that? I'm gonna pick. We get subtitles down there so y'all can understand what he's saying. I'm picking Roman Reigns! Alright, he's going with Roman Reigns. I am going to go straight up the booty hole with Finn Balor. <laughs> the demonic booty hole. Yep. I'm going to go with Finsky. No, hold on. Hold your horses. I almost... hold, hold all your bets. No, I'm gonna go with Samoa Joe. You're weird. Yep, I'm gonna go with Samoa Joe. You're weird. I am, but uh, I, I've backed out of my Finn Balor bet by uh, realizing that they still haven't got to play out the Finn Balor and Bray Wyatt thing that they've been trying to start. Yep. Uh, but and I also think there's at least another pay per view worth. Of Samoa Joe versus Seth Rollins. Here's where I'm going on that one. Is I think people are already getting tired of that enough too. They right? are, but it's raw. It's true. We just uh, talk about the Hardys. No, I feel like Joe is going to get it, and he's going to be sneaky about it. It's going to be very, very, like, very in the same vein that uh, he won his triple threat match. Oh. Yeah. By just hucking Finn out of the ring and pinning Bray Wyatt. Yeah. All right. 
Is this elimination? No. It's one fall to a finish. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's exactly As far as I know. Let me double check. Let me go to the Wikipedia real quick. Go to the search. See if there is a, a, an added Go situation. to the Weenipedia. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's just one fall to a finish. It is... Fatal Five Way Extreme Rules match determined the number one contender for the WWE Universal Oh, okay, Champions. so it doesn't say elimination, so... Nope. There you go. I'm going Samoa Joseph. All right. Yeah. That he's the only guy out of all of those people to have yet to contend for the main championship of Raw SmackDown. It's true. Which is why I don't think he's going to go for it. I think he's got to finish doing whatever he's doing first, and then he's going to go for it. Uh, I think I think Roman Reigns is going to be Roman Reigns is going to take it because I thought about it between now and WrestleMania. There's legitimately only five potential times for Brock Lesnar to defend the championship. He's obviously going to do it at whatever the July pay per view is, whether it is or is not Great Balls of Fire. Uh, after that, you've got SummerSlam, you've got Survivor Series, uh, you have the Royal Rumble, and then potentially whatever the last pay per view is. And maybe Night of Champions. And yeah, and, and maybe Night of Cham either Night of Champions if they do it, or uh, whatever the last pay per view is before Mania. So there's le legitimately only five times he's going to defend it. So he will defend against all of these guys. I doubt it. But it's going to be at each of these pay-per-views. I, I don't think he's going to run the gamut with these five guys. I think he will. Because, because one, one of them is going to get outed for Braun Strowman when Braun Strowman comes back. Depending on how long Braun Strowman's out, because there's a good chance he's out for like six to eight months. Which would bring him back probably right I, around I don't. I don't think he's going to be gone that long. I don't think so. I, I think he's going to come back a lot earlier than expected. He had a shattered elbow, bro. He did. An L, bro. But, I mean, we've seen people come back from injuries much sooner than anticipated. That's before. true. Uh, I think Braun's going to be one of those cases. All right. And I think he's probably going to be the number one contender for, like, the Rumble. All right. Cool. That's it for Extreme Rules predictions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Click the links. Check out the podcast. Those are all links. Check out Reasonable Wrestling Fans. Yeah, that's also a link, but it's also Reasonable to W. Like, like also wrestling. wrestling. Like also wrestling. wrestling. Also check out the top five. It's also over here good. on the uh, playlist. Yep. Uh, along with all of our regular videos. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you whatever video you decide to watch next. Uh, great balls of fire. Fuck this pathetic attempt at being extreme. Never one of them.